I have with me Dr. Rahul Baweja here from Molana Azad Medical College. I really welcome him here today on his fantastic performance in the All India PG exam as well as Delhi Postgraduate Medical Entrance exam. Just to mention about Rahul here, he has secured a rank 1 in Delhi PG and also secured a rank 20 in All India PG 2014. Congratulations to you Rahul. Thank you. Well, on this occasion when you have achieved so much in life, I would like to know how do you feel? Well, it feels great. Uh, just for the fact that uh, the finally the struggle is over because passing an Indian PG entrance exam is definitely not an easy task. I mean, um, it takes, I mean, you, I, I devoted my entire year to this and I feel really happy that I have been blessed with such a good rank. Great. And I would say, just to add to that, uh, just to mention it here, this is one of the toughest exams as ranked in the world. Congratulations once again. Well, I would like to take this opportunity and ask you again, uh, you give this, uh, you give the credit for your performance to whom? Well, uh, definitely uh, I worked really hard for it. I worked really hard for it and uh, plus uh, I mean, everything counts. I think my, my parents, they were very supportive throughout. Plus uh, I got the right guidance in, f in the form of my teachers and uh, especially in dams where the teachers are extremely helpful and they are ready to solve your queries any at any point of time and uh, they guide you in a way I mean, if you if you follow what they say, I mean, you're, you're sure to get a rank. That's, that's great. And uh, just I'll come uh, to more focused questioning now. I'll ask you that what subjects in particular to concentrate upon while you're preparing for such a tough examination? I, f I feel that it is most important to be clear with your concepts first. So basically, the subjects that we are taught during our first year and second year, they are extremely important. Subjects like physiology, biochemistry, then of course pathology and in Indian PG exams a lot of emphasis is given on PSM so I would uh, recommend all my juniors to study PSM quite well and because a lot of weightage is given to PSM in all the entrance exams except for PGI where few questions are asked but in most of the other exams a lot of, P a lot of PSM questions are asked. Okay, that's great. Well, uh, uh, I take this opportunity to ask you, you know, you have, as we all know that you have been a part of our classroom course in dams. Tell us something about your time that you spend in dams. Uh, well, in dams, uh, the course that I was a part of, that was, ex that has been extremely helpful. The classes were, I mean, the course, the, the way that the things are taught here, I mean, it's really like to the point and uh, really, uh, very, I mean, they, it, it, it's, it's, sufficient it's actually sufficient to uh, clear your concepts and uh, solve MCQs at the same time so how would you say you were helped out you know after joining dance I mean basically uh, the course that I was a part of that was helpful and uh, and secondly uh, I also enrolled for a test and uh, test series uh, I joined a test series in addition to that and plus dams exclusive club I would say that that's an excellent forum and where you can post all your queries and teachers here are extremely active there and they come up with the, the best answers actually. Okay. Uh, I would also like to ask you here that any particular thing that helped you while you were uh, as a, you were a part of the classroom course in dance? Um, any particular, I would say, I mean the, the dams, uh, the booklets that they provide. You know, they are like excellent study material actually because it's very concise to the point and uh, plus now they have started preparing it according to the changed pattern of the exam which is now conducted by NBE. So the pattern has changed and they prepare their material as per that. Great. Uh, now that you have mentioned about the books here, I would like to know any other particular books you would refer? In addition to that, I used to study, I am in a habit of studying standard textbooks. I mean, I always read, I always make a point that I should be thorough with it, not thorough, but try to cover as much as I can my, through my standard textbooks because that's, that eventually, will ha ha that, that eventually helps you. I mean, I, I'm not in favor of uh, reading guides actually too much. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's really valuable input you have given us. Mm. Well, uh, I'll just, uh, would like to ask you one more thing that what pattern of study do you propose for prepare, preparing, you know, for a tough exam like PGME? I mean, you should go for the whole cover to cover reading or a subjective <laughs> reading or, you know, more focused reading. What kind of, you know, curriculum would it's, you suggest uh, as a student? It's basically, one should be knowing that what's relevant and what's not. 
you know there's no point in studying uh, things which are which are which nobody's going to ask you in any of the exams so i guess we get an idea i mean we reach this stage we get an idea what's important and what's not and your teachers are already already always there with us and to guide us that what to be read so i think it's it's wise enough to prepare a, a topic from any book any standard book uh, along with dams notes the notes that are given in the class so i think that covers the entire thing for all the exams i would like to ask you a very personal question that what difference did you notice in yourself you know before joining the classroom course in dams and after you have joined and finished it well i i uh, gain a lot of confidence actually and uh, i was not uh, a very bright student during my mbbs days but uh, i somehow managed to my during my drop year i worked really hard for it and uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was able to get this done. So you want to say here that the guidance that you got yeah, in the classroom, yeah, exactly, coaching, exactly, you help, help yeah, ex- exactly, exactly, exactly. Great, great, great. That's really wonderful, and I would like to add here that that's too modest of you know just to say that I was not good in the MBBS years. Your rank, you know, speaks uh, loads about your you know uh, uh, capacity. Anyways, well, uh, do you have? Do you suppose you do you propose any perfect mix to prepare you know for to crack such a tough exam like PGME? Um. I think, uh, as I said, that dams class notes and uh, the books that are provided here. Plus, if you can, you just try to add uh, as much as in, as much information as you can from the from any standard textbook. That like those those books that we read during our MBBS days, especially for this new pattern exam, for this changed pattern so exam. So, what you want to say here is that if you consolidate more yourself, you know, with with the theory part, that's, yeah. that's definitely help. And of exactly, course, exactly, exactly. Uh, a proper guidance by the dams faculty has helped you a lot. Definitely. Great. Definitely. So, uh, just uh, if you can add a little, you know, how did the interaction with the faculty help you in your preparation? I used to interact a lot with them through uh, dams exclusive club, where, as I just said, uh, that they are very active and. Uh, how post that interaction has helped you well uh, you can post all your queries on that club and you get right answers basically because there are a lot of answers lot of questions which are controversial okay, yes. which we can put uh, on that club and they come up with best answers best possible answers actually so they come up uh, with prompt answers which are correct yeah yeah prompt prompt all the, every right. time i used to get answer i mean well that now you have achieved so much uh, any suggestions for the time management uh, while you are preparing for pgme uh time management i think uh, how do you divide your time say okay i'll uh, while you're preparing that i would uh, consolidate and this much time i should in the year you know i should uh, spend in revision then again uh, testing okay. yourself okay okay yeah. well i think uh, one should be uh, finished with the syllabus i think at least 2 months before the exam because last 2 months they should be for your revision I mean, because nothing new can be done at that time because it's like uh, it's it's very stressful. Once the exam notifications are out and you have to fill the form, then you can feel the pressure building up inside. So it's like uh, d- during that entire time should be devoted to revision only. Revision. Only. Revision. Great. And revision is very crucial for uh, clearing these exams. Well, I thank you once again for all the inputs that you have given me. Now let me ask you here: What branch do you wish to specialize in now? Uh, I always wanted to do radio diagnosis, so I'll be going for that. All the best to you. Well, any faculties you wish to mention, especially who have helped you in your preparing for the PGM um, now? Any tips for them? Uh, tip number: uh, the most important thing is that you should have a belief in yourself. I mean, never let anybody else decide what you can do and what you not, what you cannot. And uh, this uh, hard work is required, definitely. I mean, you can't. Uh, escape that i mean you have to study to get a rank you have to study re- and and study smartly study as per the exam any recommendations uh, to the you know people who are aspiring for pg like any uh, uh, specific courses or institute i think uh, for me dams proved to be the best decision uh, i mean as far as the pg entrance is concerned so i mean it's a great institute and uh, i recommend my juniors to be a part of dams and they can see the difference themselves Well thank you very much Dr Rahul Baveja here I wish you all the best in life you have given valuable inputs to us and I wish you all the best in life thank you very much